the Suffolk University Political Research Center, and he joins us now. David, thanks for being with us. Good morning, Mika. Thank okay. you. Okay. Most of the polls done in the last few weeks have Obama up by double digits in Oregon. Any insight into why the polls are so close, and how do you factor that into the fact that these are mail-in ballots, so a lot of the voting was done beforehand? Yes, in, in Oregon, of course, there is mail-in ballots, but the voters also have the option of dropping off the ballots in advance, or even voting on today, on election day. The, uh, the county offices do provide for those voters who don't want to mail in to have the option of voting. Huh. But in terms of the, in terms of the poll, we're pretty confident Barack Obama will win and will win comfortably. And I say that for a couple of reasons. Number one, Suffolk University does a sister test. We actually take a community called the Bellwether community, uh, or a county, in this case Marion County in Oregon, and um, that county also uh, points to Barack Obama winning. Secondly, when we put the refusals and the undecideds under the, under the, the, uh, the microscope, we found that the demographics represented in the refusals and the undecideds clearly lined up with Barack Obama voters, men, young voters, and Multnomah County. All right, now when you look at Obama's favorability ratings in the two states, you found something that you said you've never seen before. In Oregon, he has a 73% yes. favorability rating, with 15% seeing him unfavorably. In Kentucky, the numbers are different, 43% favorable, 43% unfavorable. To what do you attribute that to? Well, there are, there are marked differences. I mean, there are sort of cultural differences, but age and demographic differences. Mm -hmm. in, in, in Oregon, you've got a 73-15 favorability. Uh, again, the, West, the, the, the Kentucky numbers were similar to the West Virginia favorability numbers. The West Virginia favorability was, uh, was 41, uh, 44 favorable, 41 unfavorable. Mm. And here you have 43-43. So the, the, there, the difference is like night and day in terms yeah. of popularity. And it does pose a problem for October. Uh, when Democrats and Republicans are going to yep. be vying for the independent voters in the swing states. I think you make a very good point. I also think the map could possibly change this time around, so we could see some historic shifts. David Paleologos, thank you so much for your insight. Thank Talk you. Talk to you soon. Come okay. back. That'll do it for me.